Are you a new homesteader? Are you a new tractor owner? Are you struggling to get your implements on your three-point connection on the back of your tractor, like your brush hug, your box blade? Have you not been farming for 30 years? Well, we're here today to show you a much easier way to connect your implements to your three-point. Stay with us. Backing up constantly, back and forth, back and forth, raising your uh, lower linkage arms up and down, up and down, trying to align with those pins is a pain in the butt. But there's an easier way to do it. Let me show you how to do that. All you need is a lever. Simple physics, the steel pole is going to help you out immensely. All you need is one lever and that's it. We're gonna move this implement instead of moving the tractor. Much easier. Now there's problems getting those arms, and on this case, this Cub Cadet, the arms swing back and forth, they don't stay wide, and the implement itself has a very wide stance for the pins. So it's really difficult to get these to come wide to line up with those pins on the outside of the pins. When you get one to line up, the other one's inside. That's a pain in the rear end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this brush hog instead of moving that tractor. So let's get to doing it. First step is you do need to align, you need to be on a flat and level surface. And you do need to align the, uh, the bottom linkages here in the up and down direction directly in line with your pin so we can get one lined up. All right, let's do that first. Now that we have that connection point aligned with the pin in the up and down direction, it doesn't matter if we're not aligned in the horizontal direction because we're going to move this with the lever. All we're going to do is stick it under the back end here and give it a little scoop. Once we put that lever under the rear end of the brush hog, and give it a little scoop forward, it's going to pop right on there. Easy. One down. Now we've got the age-old issue of having one of our arms stuck inside the pin of the implement. So let's use our lever to scoot this side back. Now that we've got it back far enough where our other arm will swing freely here, what we can do is just take a bungee cord so it doesn't come back on us, and we're going to set it on the outside here. We're going to take our lever, we're going to move our uh, mower deck or our brush hog back into its proper position. couple of quick adjustments with your lever, take your bungee cord off, and you're all lined. Last and final steps, connect your top link and connect your drive shaft to your PTO spindle, and you are all set to go brush hogging. Or if you're connecting another implement, whatever you need to do, like we just took off our box blade. If you found this information helpful, give us the thumbs up, share the video, and leave us a comment in the comment section below. We also want you to go and check out all of our other videos here on the homestead. Most of all, subscribe. We want you here on a permanent basis. And go check us out on countrylivingexperience.com where we've got a tool store that's linked to Amazon and it contains all the tools we recommend here on our homestead. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.